Hey guys, welcome to another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I am your host with the most, your boy VX Kingpin XV, coming at you guys with another great show. Today's going to be a uh, Devil and Realist episode four, an old love story. Um, this one was okay. It wasn't a lot of action and anything like that. Um, you know, I, yet again, they had some sus suspect moments in this, uh, but kind of starts off where. Uh, you know, William is, you know, still doing his prefect thing and he's getting the kids in trouble and we, we meet old, old Mary Molly, Mary Molly the Wonderful. Uh, some old, some old uh, like, I guess she's like head of the manor for the women. She's like, you know, does all the cooking and cleaning and overseeing of the overall, taking care of the home, of, of the, not the home, the school or whatever the case may be. Um, and we also get to meet the new priest, Kevin, uh, who obviously William knows or whatever the case may be. And in the beginning, he's doing some like weird chanting stuff at the very, very beginning. And at this point, William is trying to figure out why is this important, why they're doing all this chanting weirdness or whatever the case may uh, be at this point in time. Uh, so they get to talk outside. And he's kind of like, don't tell me about your personal things that are going on anymore. Kind of blows him off. Um, you know, and kind of, I guess he's kind of like, you know, irritated by this whole fact or whatever the case may be. He kind of shares that one of his elder brothers died in a, a war or whatever the case. Um, and then after you meet the, the uh, Miss Molly and you get to meet the three kids who are just in trouble. And I guess it's supposed to be showing you how school life is kind of going along uh, and doing the boat race that they just got prepared for. Uh, you see this new guy called the head boy, which I guess is like top of the class or whatever the case may be. And you also get to bring in kind of uh, Don Talion. They're doing a head-to-head -head race and they like crash into each other. And all of a sudden, a piece of the uh, the rower pops off, goes out after uh, Miss um, Miss Molly or whatever the case may be. And while, just while I was about to hit it, it switched over. Uh, and then, you know, it kind of, kind of figured that, okay, this guy's a demon and they kind of introduced the guy, this, that, and the other. Um, and then it kind of keeps going on. You know, it was supposed to be a love story. The love story was supposed to be about the demon and his loneliness and how he met Miss uh, Molly and back in the day while he was fighting some little bat demons and she, he rescued her uh, from them. And then the parents found out that he was a demon and say, stay away from him. And he kind of left her to do, you know, to, to be normal, to have a normal life. Uh, she ended up getting sick. And she wanted him to come back, wanted to see him one last time, this kind of thing. So she tried to do a contract with a demon and brought, a, brought, brought the demon back. And then at that point in time, the demon was going crazy and he slashed the demon and she died. And the demon died. And then we got to film, find out more about Solomon. No, not Solomon, William, who used to be Solomon. And every time I watch it, some of the episodes are good, some of them I really enjoy. They always have these, um, how do you say? <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> they always kill me with those moments. And it bothers me because it happens so often. Uh, the writer must be, you know, batting for the other team, him or her. I don't know who the writer is. And it's kind of irritating because it's a lot of those moments in every episode. We see some type of love connection, some ooh, mm, ooh, mm, with man on man action. Um, I mean, even even the, the 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 second demon that we got introduced, Sis uh, S Y S T or whatever, uh, I thought that was a girl for the longest time. And still, Don Dalion said that's him. Like he referred to the demon as him. So obviously, it's a man. It's just like, and it's almost hard to tell with the long hair and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of confusing, whatever the case may be. Uh, but we got to learn more about all these seventy-two pillars or the, all the pillars and stuff like that. And once. I guess I don't read the manga. So once he makes his decision, does he no longer have power over these demons? And, and is he only able to control these particular demons? And can he call um, call upon them at will? Or once he you know selects whoever he wants to select as the the um, the caretaker of hell, what happens next? So many questions I have. Uh, so I'm gonna have to start researching things a little more so I can get more involved into it. Uh, but thus far, it's enjoyable. Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to follow, but I'm going to keep watching it anyway. But they do have those, let me say, hmm, too many of those moments. So I don't want to be the one who says it, you be the one. 
who makes that decision. As always, do your thing below. Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, please.